It's definitely been interesting releasing music right now. And I think I have a responsibility as an artist to, to release music that of the time and that people need to hear. Between the lyric and, and melody and the track alone, it's something that, you know, made sense for people to hear right now. Left hand to right hand on the Bible. You walked in, I was dead on arrival. My heart In a cycle. Hey, hey. So for this song in particular, it actually came pretty effortlessly because of the fact that I had some incredible collaborators. So Oscar, Cam, Laura, Jeff, like we really, really had an amazing vibe that day. And, and I think it came pretty easy and pretty quick. It was such an amazing energy there, like the whole camp, but especially that day was just like, it was one of those days where like everything just kind of clicked. And also, I think at the studio too, with all the lights and the fact that we yeah. were in New York and it yeah. like made it like a party mural. Oh, for sure. I mean, your studio was insane to begin with. It is a whole like atmosphere of its own. Sure. We are in like we a mood the scale <laughs> the second you step in. Just even the buildings being so intense and tall, I think it kind of, it always, what I found is subconsciously makes the music a little more urgent. Yeah, exactly. And I don't want nobody unless that somebody is you. If I had anybody, I would want somebody like you. And I know that we shouldn't, but I know there's worse we could do. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. It's a very strong bass line. You really don't need too many chords in between. Sometimes it's kind of nice to leave that space open. That's what drew me to this group right away is that we weren't so busy thinking about the chords or even how the how many layers. I think I just did one strum, but really it was about the bass line and the vocal. When we were talking to Jeff, I want to do something cool and funky. I've really been in, into funk probably the past like year. You know, what I really like is like what they do in movies is when the, the music and the and the narrative really match up. On the second verse, when she was singing about a disco, like the disco lights really bring out your eyes. It made me think like, what's the most disco sounding thing I could do at this point? And for some reason, the strings came to my mind as like the classical, classic disco string sound. Disco lights really bring out your eyes. Whatever the rhythm, we always on tempo. So basically, like my inspiration behind like the record for me personally, I know that we all have a different like interpretation of it. Mine yeah. was about that moment when I like first was out and out and about and kind of connected with my person for the very first time. And we literally danced and danced and danced and danced for hours and hours. Like, have you ever had that moment where you're like, man, I'm actually trying to get over some other situation and I shouldn't be really talking to you because I promised myself that I wouldn't, but you know what? I don't want to dance alone. I don't 